Melissa Sardelli, 12 News. And uh, Kate, where do you fit in on that poll there? We're just going to put the pressure on you right now. So all of those things sound lovely, yeah. and I just want my kids there with me doing it, you know, like maybe delivering food to me as I'm in bed or something like that. But I was told by our director that who has older kids that when mine get older, I will have different sentiments about this. Meaning you just want the kids away, Apparently. leave me alone type of thing? I guess so. All right, well, nice that you want to be with the kids right now, right? <laughs> yeah, they're still little. <laughs> All right, now that we know Kate's answer on that poll, we will also ask if she approves the Mother Day forecast. I do. Okay, good, yes. because the graphic says you do, so we don't have any choice. We can't change that now. In our three key things, yes, Sunday is mother approved. Weather is looking good there. A few showers on the way this afternoon and then some rain on the way for Monday. I'd say the first half of Monday, most likely the rain moves through and then perhaps moving out by Monday afternoon. Newport Harbor, some clouds out there right now with temperatures in the 40s and generally 40s are the rule across southern New England. 42 in Smithfield, 45 Taunton, 45 New Bedford, 45 Newport, 44 Westerly, 45 for Block Island. Breeze is out of the north right now at 7 miles an hour in Smithfield, 8 in Providence, 7 in Newport, 5 New Bedford, 12 miles an hour Block Island, and 7 there on the vineyard. No wind gusts to speak of right now. Low pressure offshore, however, it would be nice if this was the only low pressure we were tracking, but there's another sneaky little low pressure. This one will sneak in from the west today, and that will give us a few showers by the afternoon. Not a washout, but certainly the chance of showers will be increasing after around 3 or 4 p.m. And that's the forecast we have for you here. Now, one thing I want to point out is, first of all, we'll have mid to upper 50s along the south coast for Westley, Charlestown, Narragansett, so a little bit cool. I also want to point out winds out of the north at 5 miles an hour. Now, what I think will happen is you can get some breezes from the north 5 to 15 this morning, and then as the breezes try to swing in from the south during the afternoon, there may be a bit of a cancellation effect where it ends up actually calm for a good part of the afternoon along the coast. Now, for northern Rhode Island, inland spots here, breezes staying from the northeast around 5 to 12, 57 Burrillville, 58 Situate, 58 in Johnson, 58 West Warwick. And again, if you're making those tea times, want to get in a round of golf, definitely better to do that before around 3 p.m. Not that you're totally washed out by the afternoon, but the chances will increase. You'll have some interruptions late afternoon. Upper 50s from Seekonk and Attleboro, 56 in Fall River, mid 50s from Westport, Dartmouth and New Bedford. Now, I did want to break down the timing a little bit more here on the forecast. This is around lunchtime. Still thinking we're mostly dry. Now, you could have one or two little drops or little specks of drizzle moving through, but as I said before, I think these really start to flare up around 3 p.m. You can see the green starting to show up there, and a few of these could be briefly heavy, 5, 6 p.m., and then this evening, the showers start to push out, and by the overnight hours, we're drying out with partly cloudy skies and temperatures actually falling back through the low 40s. So tonight's forecast shows those temperatures falling into the upper 40s by early evening. Overnight through tomorrow morning, mid 40s in Providence. Outside of Providence for places like Taunton, uh, North Situate, you're probably sinking into the low 40s, maybe a few upper 30s as well. Seven day forecast shows nice for Mother's Day, 65 degrees. So the timing really works out here. I'd say the one little fly in the ointment I love that expression, by the way. Some increase in clouds by the afternoon. Other than that, though, we're going to keep it dry. The showers arrive very late at night, so unless mom is a late night partier, don't have to worry about that. Overnight to Monday, that's when the showers roll through. Showers could be heavy at times into Monday morning and then start to clear up Monday afternoon. You can always get more updates on our website at WPRI.com. Kate? Listen to this. Debris from a Chinese